Hello, I'm Rob from Rob Gardner Professional Decorators based in Exeter, Devon. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you how we've sanded down a kitchen worktop, which is made of wood. And then we apply a kitchen oil on top of that um, to then add the extra protection. So we've got a few problems right from the start, and that's all this dark um, staining around the wood. Here you can see you had a little bit of a practice already so we know it does come off um, and it does need a fair bit of work to do that so we're going to use some different tools the first ones are um, DeWalt and that's going to have a 40 grade sandpaper on it the next one we're going to go down a size in the Makita um, which is half a um, sandpaper width and that's going to have a 60 grade sandpaper on it and then for the corners and the fiddly bits we go to a triangular DeWalt again with a 60 grade and then in between coats um, it will have about four coats in total so we're going to go for a 240 grit finishing paper um, so to get just get it really really smooth so here we go actually sanding it it's important to always go in the same direction as the grain itself as much as possible uh, it'll just avoid any scratching and stuff like that um, and what we're trying to do now is actually remove as much of the old um, varnish or oil as possible so here you can see the old oil actually sitting on top of it it's already got marks and stuff on it and then this is the section that we've already sanded now as it was we didn't need to use the 40 grit on most of the areas which is good because it would have scratched it a little bit so it would have needed more work to improve it but just by using the 60 grit with the power sanders we've managed to remove the old oil or varnish um, and we're starting to get a really good finish now those areas that had all the black um, staining on we've had to take about I would say two or three mil off the whole of that wood now once we've achieved all of the sanding I've then gone around with some water and we've just cleaned it all off and what this does is it mimics what it would look like with the oil on then we can see if any areas haven't you know do need more work as you can see it's looking pretty good and then if it does need more work we can carry on sanding as it was this is all looking pretty good with with the water so we'll now let this dry it out and then we we'll move on to the actual applying the oil so first of all, what we're going to do is just go around with the 240 just to remove um, any scratches and then dust it all off and use uh, actually a hoover to hoover off the dust. And then we're using this oil from um, Libron. It's um, a proper worktop oil. It's water based and I'm just using a brand new brush. Um, would have been nice if I had a, a bigger size new brush in the van but I didn't. Um, this brush is actually a, a really good brush for it. It's from the... Um, Picasso range so check them out if you haven't used them before and all we're doing is we're applying it um, not too thickly in all directions so it gets a really good coverage and then laying it off again the same direction as the wood grain itself now this will dry in about three hours or so and then we'll apply another coat um, and in total this worked up will have four coats but we're going to leave it 24 hours before it has its final coat just so it can fully harden off then I'll advise the client not to use it for at least another 12 hours or so until it's fully hard and that'll be it. It'll be ready to use and then maybe once every 18 months or so another quick coat. But as you can see this is just the first coat now so it'll, it'll need another three coats on top. Um, and you can see it's still drying out a little bit in some areas but it's leaving a really nice finish and that'll dry back to, to really, really good finish and a really um, good amount of protection as well. So I'm Rob from Rob Gardner Professional Decorators. If you want us to carry this out uh, at your home, then feel free to get in touch with me. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.